All right, I have with me a very honored guest here at Aloha High School, and we made a connection here over uh, Mr. Ambrose So, right? Ambrose So. Ambrose So. Sue. Okay. Um, tell me your name, sir. Michael Sue. Michael Sue. And uh, you have a pretty well-known son in in Damu Kong. Yes. Okay. Enough said there. And uh, this was your nephew here tonight playing for West Salem. Correct. And tell me a little bit about uh, how your family uh, has uh, come. Uh, are you from the United States? You're not. I'm originally from Cameroon. Cameroon. Yes. Okay. So your family comes from Cameroon. And how did the kids end up playing American football? Well, uh, like the saying says, while in Rome, do what the Romans do. <laughs> I love it. So we are in Rome, so we got to do what the Romans do. It is kind of like Rome here nowadays, yes, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Um, your son had great success. Your nephew's having some great success. We need to get some colleges to realize uh, his potential could be truly great. So we'll do what we can for him. And uh, just personal, like from a football standpoint, obviously you can go watch football anytime you want. Besides the NFL, uh, what's been your pa favorite part about your family getting involved in American football? What's been the best part of it? I mean, everything around it is good. You know, uh, sports. We uh, in Cameroon, where we come from, we like we we. Are, it's a sports nation. If you haven't heard of Cameroon before, you should know Cameroon is one of the use. I mean, it's still one of the best football yep. country in Africa. Yep. So uh, football, in a sense of soccer, yep. as we call it in America. I I, I know that much uh, about exactly. them. Yes. So uh, every kid there strive. For they education. love soccer. They love soccer. They love education. So. <laughs> As you're here, I don't think there's any drawbacks or anything that... You so know. soccer's here too, but football's kind of our version of your soccer from Cameroon, yeah? Exactly. And so as when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Um, uh, there have been an increasing number of African immigrants coming to America. And in fact, in Portland, we have quite a large population from different countries in Africa coming. Schools like David Douglas, uh, I have noticed, have... Uh, players like uh, Oomogbi Odigazua, that team has a number of players, and they all tell me they love the sport. Most of those kids have been born in this country, so they're U.S. citizens. But even now, some immigrants coming and picking up the sport. Do you think that we've seen just the tip of the iceberg of what maybe Afri African uh, uh, immigrants coming to the U.S. can offer to the game of football? Uh, you just took the word out of my okay. mouth. You I'm know, sorry. Because you've just, you know, you, you, we're just seeing a tip of the iceberg, right. like, like you said, because uh, there's a lot of fast runners. For instance, you can see what my nephew is doing. Yes, uh, very quick. He's, he's quick, uh, just like my son is, yep. he, uh, even though he's big, but he's quick. Yeah. So we have that sports gene in us. You know, I can say that, but we, we strive for success. Too. And it's a warrior sport, football. Uh, I think from what we know as Americans or the African people, very much warrior warrior people, kind of like many of our immigrant families, like our Norwegians and everyone exactly. else. So you like the contact, you like the contest and the battle and all of that, yeah? Right, exactly. <laughs> you think if you'd have been uh, uh, young enough and come here, you'd have taken up the game? Of course I would. <laughs> Even though I was scared the first time I saw it, you know, because it, it was really more contact than soccer, but because I'm a soccer player. You were yeah. a soccer player. Yeah. But, you know, we, we do take... We At do. what age did your son start playing? Oh, he started very late. He started a sophomore year. In, in high school? In high school. And that just proves you never know, right? Exactly. Many people think, if my kid doesn't start young, yeah. and yet we hear stories of many NFL greats that did not start until they became teenagers. So, Exactly. Well, maybe we can make you a, an ambassador to Cameroon. We can take a trip and go look for the next great football players. I, I, we will really, it's what we are hoping and we are that, praying that something can happen. Like that would that. be really neat, wouldn't yes. it? And maybe bring a team someday together. Yes, bring some team, bring uh, at least just go visit there, see the children. Yeah. You would love to bring some of them. All right. Well, if we get a chance, we'll give you a call first. Maybe you can show us the way. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Sue. And Thanks. congratulations on all the success your family has had, uh, you know, through football and, and here in the States. Thank you. All right.